morning to morning. <laughs> so after hearing my speech today, you know the importance of networking and how it has helped me in my career. And I want to share some of my experiences. And I also wanted to give some tips that might be helpful for you to network. All the people may not be comfortable starting to network. Even I felt the same. I was so nervous and damn frightened to talk to strangers and even start a conversation a few years back. But later, when I realized how critical and important it is to network with all the professionals and different students at colleges and even at workplace, I started talking and making those small conversations as a startup. And I also started like, you know, helping my friends, help them understand how critical it is to actually go and talk to people, get to know about them, what are the projects they are working on, and so forth. Let me share some of my experiences which helped me while networking. So it was my first, uh, second semester, I started looking for internship opportunities. I applied for several jobs and I gave interviews and I felt like I did really well in those interviews but I later found out like I was not getting the written call saying that I was hired. So as I started networking in my class because a lot of professionals also come to courses because most of them are in the evening classes. I started networking with them, getting to know about their organizations and what kind of projects they are working on. That really helped me understand more about their organizations and even started looking for opportunities in those specific organizations since I knew people in there and like, you know, starting to know what kind of projects they are dealing with. And then one day, one of my classmates, since I already networked with him and told him my desire to work for their organizations as an intern, one day he, he, <coughs> he gave me a call saying that there is an opening in so-and-so department. Would you like to apply? Immediately I said, why not? Because I was looking for opportunities. Then I got a call. I did, I did well in the interview and then finally got the internship opportunity. At the end of the internship, the team really liked me and they offered me a full-time opportunity as well. And this has happened a second time in a row for me while I was looking for a transition in my job. I gave an interview in my current organization and after a month, and again I was not getting the written call saying that the result, about the result. Then later, I was talking to some of my colleagues at my current organization at that time and I started realizing like one of my mentor has already worked in the same department for 14 years. If I have not talked to him and kind of let him know that I was looking for outside opportunities and this is what happened, then we, during that conversation, we realized that he actually worked in the same department for 14 years and he knows folks, then he assured me that he'll keep a word saying that to get to know the result. And immediately, within a week, I got the result. I felt like so happy and I thought, okay, this is the way we have to go. Like, you know, talk to people, explain what you're looking for and things like that. And here are some of the tips which I thought would be really uh, helpful for you out there. So even if you're a student or a working professional, we get a lot of communication emails from, my, from our organizations. What's happening around, like, you know, the events where we can take advantage of. So even though if you don't have time at that moment to go through that emails, things like that, we have to make some time at the later point of time to get to know about those all events and like, you know, the networking opportunities that we might be interested in. And interestingly, one more thing that happened very recently, since I moved to a new organization, I started networking within the organization, having those one-on-one -on -one meetings, like you know, I set a, a 15 minute meetings with all the managers in my department to get to introduce me, what I'm working on and how we can work together going forward on several projects to make it even bigger. And at the end of each and every meeting, very interestingly, they really appreciated for taking the time to actually introduce myself 
since I'm very new to the organization and getting to know people because there are folks with tremendous experience in that industry. And I felt really happy for their guidance and motivating me to actually continue to do so, to get to meet folks in several departments, not just in my department. That I felt really happy after that. And even, so other social networking platforms like LinkedIn, even though we are working and we have good job, things like that, it's not where we just stop. It is actually the beginning. We have to look forward. That might really help us to actually go to the next stage. So take some time to build those network relationships just in your industry or like you know several other industries where you might seek new opportunities in the future or just to know about what's happening around things like that. And I also feel like you know some people may not be having taking advantage of those things and also share your knowledge to others. <coughs> so when you start sharing those knowledge, you might even like you know get to know about these people and they wanted to give it back to you as well. And even if you're going, uh, like you know, if you're new to a certain team or something like that, after a few conversations, you might be knowing other people's interests, like you know, what they like, let's say like you know, sports, or just like you know, the good restaurants, maybe you can, we can start small conversations saying that, okay, I saw a recent match, did you watch the game? Like you know, you can start those small discussions. And even like you know, you can ask for suggestions of like you know, the restaurants and things like that. And even one of the main reasons I, I joined Toastmasters here as well is to network with all you folks, get to know about you and your organizations. Maybe somewhere down the line, it might help like, you know, for all of us to kind of share that knowledge, what's happening in our industries, things like that. So that's, those are all the advantages and some of the tips that I thought would be really beneficial for each one of you. And, and definitely the network is your network. So if you already started networking, please continue to do so.